I'm ready to die, bro. I feel like I'm gonna get murdered. He's a clown, like emperor clown of YouTube. He's just an insufferable a, a real piece of shit. The biggest clown. J Station. J Station. Still pretty excited to lose it, your boy Zig enough here, and today, yes, I understand that I've been gone for a while. I have been lacking, but it's because I've not been feeling videos. Now, I'm back up to feeling videos. I want to make videos again. A lot of things have happened. <coughs> A lot of um, big things have happened recently, like, so basically, the first thing you probably notice is I got a piercing on my ear. If you know, you know. <laughs> the next thing you'll notice is my voice. I was at Longitude Festival, it was amazing. My voice is gone because I was screaming constantly all the time. All we were doing is just screaming in the lyrics because we need, we need, oh, yeah. <laughs> The final thing you will notice is I actually got a Double bed. I actually got a double bed. It's probably the most comfortable thing I've ever li like slept in. I live with this thing. I just feel like a different human compared to like a month ago. If you didn't know, a popular streamer and YouTuber, Etika, passed away on June the 25th. I have to look it up. I'm just going to be fully honest. I can't remember the date. It was about two weeks ago. But I mean, just like the energy that he brought as a person, his his obsession with the Nintendo Switch was just amazing. I'm not going to make this 10 minute video that Deji did trying to get to fucking 10 mil subs. I wasn't the biggest fan of Etika, but I did enjoy what content I saw. It's sad news, but reading up on all the information, this is sounds really harsh, but it was coming to that. You could see in him. It's just sad, man. I, and then in comes the biggest clown, J Station. I don't even want to call him a YouTuber. Made a video. And the big thing is, this is not the first time this is done that he has done this. I saw the Mac Miller one and the X one, and I br briefly though. But this one has caused a lot of uproar because people. Not a, it's not that they didn't care about Mac or X, but it's in the YouTube community, and I don't wish bad upon anyone. But you know what I was going to say next? If I would have, I'm going to stop myself there. I would have reacted to Etika's final video, but there's been enough reactions to Etika's death. We, we just don't need to see it. We I, I want to say my piece on this J Station. I just want to get this out of me. Just, yeah, let's just watch. What's poppin' guys? I just got back from the middle of nowhere in an insane asylum. We're like, we're literally two seconds in and his face just irritates me. This is the reason I have acne. I'm about to bite my finger off with the force of a carrot. That's just a, a, a feeling that you have when you see someone who's doing something this bad, you just wanna shoot them down, you know? But I just hope he's, lear he's learned some sort of lesson from doing these and is able to turn himself around. I checked Twitter right now, and I saw the most horrific news I've ever seen, man. Honestly, guys, and it, it comes from comments on my YouTube channel telling me, Jay, you better not do the Ouija board on Etika. Hell no, I'm not going to do the Ouija board on Etika, bruh. The original title of this video was like, Etika 3AM Challenge Ouija Board. I'm guessing he changed that only because of the amount of outrage that people had towards this. And it's correct outrage. Something that made me think as well was... Why is it only this situation that has sparked this sort of outrage? Why? Maybe, I I think it did for X and Mac Miller, but not as much as the, the, what I've been seeing, you know? I think it's when it lands in your garden is when it hurts. I see a lot of these YouTubers tweeting about Etika. Oh, you're my best friend. Oh, this guy's the greatest. I see people making YouTube videos about it, bro. They not doing shit, bro. So what your YouTube video don't have ads, bro? Donate to that shit. If you're not donating to, to Etika or his family or mental health when you're tweeting about it or you're making a YouTube video about it, you're doing it for attention, bro. bro. Not because this person has died and you're paying respect to the person who has passed away and making sure that they uh, get get what they deserve, you know, respect that they deserve. So you can't f***ing just pay your respects to someone you have to donate to charity. It's like your f***ing stupid logic. So when you're gonna get mad at me for the Ouija board, you're doing the same shit. It's for attention. Who cares about the ads, bro? You care? You think this YouTuber with 4 million subscribers care about 500 bucks from a YouTube video? He'll- I think they do. I th I'd say they do. Especially with monetization now, I would say they do. Again, this comes back to YouTubers like Jake Paul and Jay Station knowing that this is gonna get views and people are gonna make videos about this and be outraged just for the game. Just for the game. Even if it's a dislike, they're still viewing the video. I almost died like a week ago, bro. I'm up in my car right now. 
I'm ready to die, bro. I feel like I'm gonna get murdered, bro. I literally, I thought I was about to die. And I'm like, man, they better not do no freaking Ouija board about me, bro. That really had me thinking, bro, about those videos I made doing the Ouija board. It's not a joke, bro. It's not a joke. Wait, 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 sit here, sit here. It is not a joke. And these people, just because they removed the ads, they doing it for the same reason, bro. This is some twisted vision that this man must have. He must live some life with this pair of rose-tinted specks that he lives through because he's just not living in reality. If it's not money, it's for attention. Don't act like you're the, the you're the guy's best friend because you weren't, bro. Don't act like he was the most best person and you can- oh, I'm, not, I'm not one to correct grammar, but I also am. <laughs> the most best person. Don't up, man. I know Erika has made mistakes in his life. The cop punching, the self-harm when the police came into his apartment. Everyone has done bad things. And again, that's the reason I'm holding back on J Station. If J Station is apologizing, then fair play to him. Don't act like he was the most best person and you can vouch for him because you can't, bro, because you don't know him. But what you can do, bro, is you can put money towards mental health, bro, because this is a real deal. He's right in that sense. You can't say you know him and you can't say, oh, this guy's my best friend. You, also, you can't do that as well. Put money towards mental health. I can't do that. I'm not a f millionaire. There's a rapper, E Double, he, and he has a quote. Charity is great, but you can't help until you make it too. I stick by that. I mean, I don't want to get myself down because everything is going great for me. I also don't want to ignore this. I don't want to live in blissful ignorance. So I'm trying to find the balance. This is a real deal, bruh. I'm a big YouTuber, bruh. This, I feel like people think that YouTubers are just like a cartoon character. Like they don't really exist. Like they're just in the internet. That is not true, man. We are real people. Etika really jumped off a bridge, bro. This is not for no YouTube. It wasn't part of his act, bro. He... I think he could have relayed this information in a better way and people would have respected his, his, his way of saying it, but the clickbait title and thumbnail and then changing it, trying to cover your tracks and say, oh, I'm, I'm good now, you know. It was a real deal, bro. And everyone did feel that. Everyone felt it when X died. Everyone felt it when Mac Miller died. Everyone knows it's real. Except for you who's living in some sort of fake reality. Blissful ignorance where you don't know that this f***ing hurts a lot of people. It hasn't hurt me as much as I know it could have hurt other people who are who are way bigger fans of Etika, but it's still, it still makes you think. I, I looked up Etika as soon as I heard about it, and I, I saw a bunch of comments, bunch of video, like people made actual videos about Keemstar. Yeah, it's Keemstar's fault, because he's hard on mental health. YouTubers just putting, oh, I, I'm, a, I'm depressed, guys. I'm depressed, I'm breaking down, I got depression. Him bringing up Keemstar, yeah. He did a lot of that, actually. Like, but you can't take the moral high ground, JayStation. I'm talking about this as a separate issue. Keemstar, only when it affected him, believed mental health was real, and also tried to cover his tracks with all the Etika stuff, saying, donate to this, we're gonna do this for Etika. Only when it affected him. Besides that, he said, mental health is fake, depression, all that stuff, it's all just in your head. I've let the dust settle enough, and I've also just been avoiding making videos. Or... I do something bad, it's because I was depressed. He's hard on that shit, cause you know what, it's true bro. These YouTubers are doing this, making five different videos about being depressed. He's hard on this because it's true. How ignorant and delusional do you have to be to make an assumption like that where you say that mental health isn't real? I've never been personally affected deeply by mental health. I've never had depression, but it's definitely real. It's most definitely real. Bro, I'm sad too, bro. But I'm not about to say I got depression, dude. Because you know what, man? If you didn't feel like Etika did, you don't got depression, my dude. You don't got depression. You if you don't literally kill yourself, you don't have depression or a mental health disorder. This man, J Station, he's a certified doctor. He's a certified counselor. You don't got depression, my dude. Shut the f*** up. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you're going to pretend like you were his friend, put some money at least to something like his funeral. You got to support these people. Put some money. Donate some money. Unless, or else you're, you're doing it for pure attention. Who cares if you don't put YouTube ads on? I, I can, in some delusional, twisted way, I can see what his point, what the point he's trying to make is, you know, because you have a fan base, I know how you can see that it's for attention. It's it's hard to hold back on these, on these, on what I want to say against this J station because, you know, everyone is able to have a chance to be forgiven and should have a chance to be forgiven. And him saying about the Mac Miller and X, then take them down. Why are they still up?
TLDR, man made a mistake, man apologized in one way or another. Everyone's moving on. Rest in peace, Etika. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, uh, leave a comment about what you thought about it, what I should do next, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>